Today I'm going to talk you through how to modify a Socket 775 motherboard so that it will handle a Xeon Socket 771 processor. I've got the quad core Xeon E5440 which runs at 2.83 GHz and it's got 12 meg of cache. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip the processor over and we're going to apply this modding sticker here that I've got to the left hand side of your screen. So first things first, uh, we're going to prepare the sticker. It comes with some self-adhesive sticky parts which just need removing in order to apply it to the bottom of the processor. So we're just going to do that with some tweezers. So we remove it from uh, its main housing and remove the other side from the modification here can be a bit tricky because these are quite small and then we're going to peel off the two little sticky labels so pull off a big one first take a few scratches with the uh, with the tweezers to get off and then we'll take the other one off from the other side there we go so now we're going to apply the sticker to the processor now you will see you can't really see this on the picture but on the slimmer section of it there's an arrow which needs to be pointed in the same direction as the arrow in the bottom corner of the processor. It needs to be lined up so that the edge of the sticker goes right up to the edge of the CPU pins. So that's roughly where it needs to go, but I do need to straighten it up. Uh, it can be a bit faffic in this part when you're trying to get it lined up exactly where the processor pins need to go if it's slightly out then the PC won't boot don't worry too much um, if you don't get it right first time because it can take a couple of uh, adjustments to do so as you can see here I've almost got it right it just needs a little bit of adjustment which I'm just going to do off camera uh, with the tweezers so it just needs moving up a tiny little bit once we've done that I'm going to remove the, uh, the CPU fan or heatsink as is this case that needs a clean, which I'm going to do off camera. We'll undo the uh, the latch, and we'll take our old socket 775 processor out. There we go. Now we're going to cut off these two notches here with a Stanley knife. You just need to do a tiny little motion on them, similar to that. But I'm going to do it off camera, as it can be a bit tricky. Once you have removed them, as you'll see here, I've taken a photo, zoomed in, and the notches are gone. Now we're going to line up the arrow on the corner of the processor that we're putting in with the arrow that should be indicated on the socket. On mine, it is indicated on the metal housing, which you can't quite see on the camera. I'm going to apply some thermal paste. Lovely stuff. And then I'm going to rehouse the processor. I did put the latch down before I put that on. And if it's been successful, you will see this in your BIOS. So it's now reporting the Xeon correctly and also it's showing correctly within Windows 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you had any success doing this same method? Do you need any help with it? Let me know and I will see if I can help. I've added a chipset and processor compatibility list in the description below.